Hey, uh, chaps, I'm the Average Gamer, or and if you prefer, and welcome back to Banished! Now, last time I was playing Banished, I just completed a achievement, hadn't I? I just finished my playthrough of the uh, Mountain Men achievement, which took me a lot less time than I thought, because I thought I was going to fail it a few times, but I was quite lucky that I managed to do that first time with no disasters coming my way. I think I had a bout of some kind of illness at one point, but nothing too bad. But I thought, you know what, I've played a lot of Banished now, and I've got used to the game, and I know how to win, really. So I was um, out searching for some ideas of what to do, and someone on Reddit suggested that I played a blind run of Colonial Charter. Now, I know of know of it. I've heard people say it's amazing and how it makes the Banished entirely new game and all that. But I have no idea what's in it at all. All I can tell so far is that it's got this really cool music, because unless this has been updated recently, this music is absolutely amazing. But... Uh, so I'm just going to go straight in. Okay, terrain type C... What? Um... Um, um, okay, uh... Oh, what do I want to play? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get stuck on the menu, um... Okay, 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 I'm going to have to do more than one playthrough of this. No, no, very mild. Very mild for the first playthrough. Just while I get used to everything, okay? But I'm not sure what to do. Swamp Valley's bleak mountain sounds amazing. You know what? Bleak Mountain. Bleak Mountain. Disaster's on, definitely. Starting conditions. What? Come on, please. Please tell me what's going on. Okay, let's go through these. Medium Plus. Adds livestock. A Medium Plus game with five families. Clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. Storage one has already been built, and some seeds and orchards are... For... Okay, so that's more livestock. Hard. Yep, I know that one. Adam and Eve. Start with just two people. A small amount of food, firewood, and clothing is provided in a small storage cart. No structures have been built, no tools, seeds, or livestock are initially available. You have to survive and acquire everything. Silk Road. Start with the ability to feed and harvest silkworms with their precious silk. Begins with six families, a large amount of clothing, food, firewood, building materials, and tools are provided. Homes and storage have been built. Medium. Is that the same, just medium with the missionary? A missionary games between with a parish house and three families. Two of them are uneducated. Two houses are already built, and some basic supplies supplies are provided. A storage cart is available. I don't even know what a storage cart is. Now, I don't know what that means. Um, some seeds for fields and orchards are available, as well as herds of livestock. <sighs> I don't know. Um, um, Adam and Eve sounds cool. I really like the idea of Adam and Eve on a mountain. Queen Z. Okay, Queen Z. This is where Adam and Eve are going to live on that world. Guys, I'm already worried. I didn't realise there was so much just on the me new menu. But we're going straight in. Alright, okay. So, all I know about this is that there is so much new stuff. As in, your country has rested all their colonial ambitions on the venture. Your job is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens. I don't know. I really, really don't know. Okay, this is really quite... I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to change so much. I thought it was going to be a few extra buildings and stuff like that. I didn't realise it was going to be entirely new game. This is spectacular for some for just a mod. Oh my god. Of course, my loading screens are still going to take forever. So either I'm going to be talking through them or cutting them out. So there's not many in Banished. There's just this one, really. That's it. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god. Avoiding auto Okay. Pause. Straight in. Pause. This. <laughs> okay, um. Okay, what looks the same? Okay, this. Anything new here? Oh my god, th what are the. Okay, put, put my things where I normally put them. That across there, that across there, that down there, that down there. Because that's longer now. I can't fit it all in. Okay, there. What on earth is all of this? Okay, where's Adam and Eve gone? I've lost my people. Where are they? Um, 
Where are you? There we go, that's easier. There they are, I can see the two square houses. Okay, um, what's this storage cart thing? First things first, let's look at what I have. Okay, storage cart is a movable storage shed, I'm guessing. Kind of. I have, they're not, sorry, you said it was Adam and Eve, it's uh, Penelope and Salvaro. I think that's, you're lying to me. The game's already lying to me and I don't have a clue what's going on anyway. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got the wood, we've got the, we've got the stone, we've got the iron. Perfect, those, that I know. Okay, we're on to a good start, I know three of the things. Um, Mount of stored fuel, yes. Mount of stored materials. What happened to coal? That's where coal would be normally, isn't it? Tools, okay. Stored food, amount of medicine, and stored clothes and ale. That much I know. Okay, that less, that sounds normal. Sure. Labourer, sure. Builder. <laughs> um, ale wrench. An ale wrench tends to customers at the public inn and garden. Okay. Oh, ale wench, not an ale wrench. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, baker. A baker operates the ovens that make breads and pastries. Cool. Oh my god, this is so... Okay, then. Uh <laughs> Blacksmith. Bootlegger. I know Blacksmith. What's Beekeeper? Tends to be, is obviously a bakery. Bootlegger. Hanging around back alleys. Why do I want... Okay. Bru bru okay, I know a brewer. Brickmaker. Creates... I need bricks to build, do I? Please, that's... Okay, Butcher. Obviously, chops animals for food. A Chandler. Obviously not the friends person, but a chandler is someone who makes candles. A charcoal burner. Creates charcoal. That's actually amazingly useful, I think. That should have been in the main game. A cleric, I know. Cura. Cures tobacco for consumption. Let's keep on going down. Dairy worker. Isn't there a separate mod for that stuff like that? Processes milk. Distiller. This, this guy's thought of everything. Um, farmer. Fire bundler. A uh, fire... A father, fa fire bundler makes fuel from, oh, film, a range of organic products. Fisherman I know, forester I know, gatherer I know. Sure, that makes sense. Glass maker can use furnaces and metal equipment to melt sand into glass. Herbalist, yeah, I know, herbalist. Herbalist hunter, miller, operates the mill and crushes grains into flour. What's going on? Um, minor and monk, contemplates existence. Thank you, monks. Oh, it Good, we've won. <laughs> we will know... Um, physician, I know, per service, makes jams and pickles. Why would they know jams and pickles in the base game? Um, presser, presses, buttons, no. Presses byproducts into oil. A roper, person who ropes, makes ropes, some. You can sail in this game. Shoreman removes sand and clay at the shore house and hunts for frogs and turtles. A silk farmer cultivates silk ones for cloth and food. Stone cutter, I know. Sugar boiler. Who? Why do you need to boil your sugar? Oh, it makes sugar. Okay. Tailor, I know. Teacher, I know. Trader, I know. Vendor, I know. Send a stall. Manage an individual market stall. Okay. A vintier. Presses and barrels wine. Weaver and a woodcutter. Okay, that makes sense. I got. Okay, that, I know all of those now. I'm just worried about what's going to happen when I click this next button. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, okay. Um, you know what? Okay, you guys, straight away. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what's going on. Um, where is it? This one should be the same. Yes, it is the same. Good. Go and just get a whole load of stuff. All right. Um, and also quickly, I'm ignoring everything else that's up there. Boom. Perfect. You go. Yeah. Good. And I'm just gonna let you play off so you start doing some stuff in the background. Cool. Go and do your chopping. It's already raining. What's going on? Okay. Let's have a look at these stuff while they're doing their jobs. Okay, I've got a tiny shack, a small base dwelling that will allow new families to grow in size up to three people only. However, an existing family of any size may be moved in, may move in if being rehomed. Okay. Provides a place for citizens. Okay, that's just the wood house. A log cabin provides a single house, single housing for a single family. Better warmth and comfort than a wooden house. That makes sense. Okay. Stone house, sure. Country house, an improved and more comfortable country house. Cool. A town abode. New families up to four people. However, if the existing family of any size, okay, that makes sense. A large residence can house a family of six in the high warm and comfort. And then the boarding house, okay. Roads. We have dirt road, stone road, 
brick road and flatten aesthetic plaza pieces for decoration in certain flatland conditions. Okay, we've got the wooden bridge, we've got the stone bridge, and we've got the tunnel. Okay, this is making sense. Oh my god. Okay, thank god you guys just do your thing. I'll speed them up a bit more. You guys can watch them zoom around while I'm doing stuff. While I'm trying to learn this. Okay, um, storage barn, sure. Stockpile, yeah. Specialized stockpile, makes sense. Build various markets and still market stores in your hand town. Good. Oh, is that completely different? Is that replaced markets? That looks like that's replaced markets. Okay, remember that. Trading post still the same. Resource depot. A dustable storage for your available range of products and resources. You must have at least one of each product type for its storage button to appear. The items stored in this building will only be released into your town when you decrease the number of items manually. The stored items are not freely available to people without your intervention. That is amazing. I like that. Because that's like a like a backup system just in case everything ends up failing. Okay, so you're still doing alright with your collection of materials. You do realise everything you collected for your house is right, guys. you kind of screwed if you don't collect much. Anyway, um, what's next? Bank barn. Bank barn is a large storage building that must that must be built into a slope. That's cool. Bigger barn. Dry storage. Those storage building contains textures such as cotton, flax, leather, wool, coffer, linen, and tobacco leaf. Cool. Grain silo. A grain silo stores grains and products that contain grain. Cool. A root cellar stores fruits and vegetables and products that contain fruits and vegetables. And the meat locker stores meat and meat products, also including nuts and fish. Cool. That makes sense. Let's move on to the town surface. Is. Now I'm pretty sure this is just going to be oh, Okay, very similar That's up to there, it's the same Parish house, places oh, place of worship For small communities, okay So it's like a small church, that makes sense Cemetery is the same, abbey An abbey houses monks who gather berries and herbs And brew ale, the monks are resourceful And make their products from in local ingredients Requiring no existence or product release deliveries That is quite cool, actually A back alley, back alley where deals can be made And certain needs are met Provides all manner of bootlegged items. Is what's that that I need to make that out of? I get the rope, but what's the other one? I don't know. I'll find out eventually. Um, um okay. Up to there, that's fine. Watermill, good. Uh, windmill, uh, perfect. I'm guessing they just provide grain, don't they? Yep. Different places. Hunting cabin, sure. Fields, berries, butcher stools. So it's not just. Bison? Llama butcher? What? Is that a pig? Is that a pig? That, please tell me that's a pig. Oh, for goodness sake. Move that out of the way. Deer butcher. Pig butcher. Cow and sheep butcher. Okay, sure. Gatherer's hut. An oil press. An apiary. A bakery. A sugar house. A preservist. A wharf and ship. And a dairy. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed already. Um, okay. This entire episode is just going to be me reading through shit, isn't it? Okay. Woodcutter. Makes sense. Sawmill. Provides firewood faster. Sure. Froslet. I'm just trying to get these through these quickly, okay? Because yeah, I know you guys are just watching me read this. It's very confusing and boring. Uh, bundling shed. The bundling shed organic materials are in useful bundles. Okay. Shore house. Yeah, I know that one. Chandry makes candles. Glasswork makes glass. Charcoal burner makes charcoal. Ropery makes rope. Silkworm makes silk. So weavers make weave. No. Weavers make uh, cloth. Miner and that. That makes sense. Now onto the alcohol production. An entire thing for alcohol. Okay. Um, in and garden. Brewery. Winery. Uh, distillery. Okay. And curing barn. Okay. Um, quarry, qu quay, can he? <sighs> Damn it! Okay. Um, can I click new game? No, I can't. I'll, I, 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 okay, guys, while I'm here, let's finish reading this stuff off, okay? Key wall inside piece, key wall outside piece, key wall straight piece, key side house, sure. What's this? Oh, these are all statues, are they? Statues, a privy, a flag, punishment, and if I just, oh, no, that's cool. Um, build different styles of walls, plant. Plant fruit trees in your town, plant wild trees in your town, bushes, 
flowers. Why is this game so new? Um, and then that's normal. Okay, so I've had a nice read of everything. Things start to make a bit more sense. I may not do with the Adam and Eve first straight away because I'm not entirely sure what to do. Okay, um, and it seems it's a bit more harsh than I have had in the past where I've managed to survive a winter without a house. Okay, let's let's let 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 let's let's uh, quit to the main menu quickly. Let's let's re-roll this, and now I know at least what all the buttons. So that it seems to have crashed. Uh, this is not what I expected. Um, hmm. But it's just crashed to the point where this will not go too well. Um, yeah, the entire game's gone, and yet it still thinks I'm playing it. So. Uh, I may have to restart this. I'm going to have to restart my computer and I'll be right back when I actually restart and I'll be in a game. And this time I won't just let them start freeze to death instantly. Okay, cool.